god, I made my thing with my chocolate. <laughs> um, okay, look, I put on lips. I always think halfway through, my god, you have no lips. Anyway, on to the second video of today, which is the Sufi Human exhibition, which was at the Wildcom collection. And the Sufi Human um, exhibition is basically about kind of add ons. Um, things which make people superhuman. Um, so like fake arms, fake legs, robotic hands, pieces of surgery, um, you know like boob jobs and life-saving surgery and whatnot. Um, and this is the Wacom Trust which is a part of kind of like this medical association which kind of breeds together art and science in a beautiful mix, which I love. Um, the superhuman exhibition, which could get this for about a pound. Yeah, it was a pound. It's like a pound donation um, from the exhibition. And a lot of it comes from their own libraries. I would recommend joining the Welcome Library um, because there are lots of things that you can do. You can then go into libraries and have a look at um, documents and all sorts of like really cool things. It's been like in the British Library, but better because it's art and science. God. Um, you walk in, and the first thing you will see is this little bronze kind of figurine, and it is of a figure of Icarus flying, and they've beamed up this light, and then it's like kind of got this whole like. Batman <laughs> feel about it because it's like it's just a silhouette on like a white sheet which the easiest way to describe it is like Batman um, and you walk around and then they've got these pieces on these oh, I can't, it's like 1958 to 19 okay. yes I know I thought I was prepared to but I wasn't as usual I usually edit all of this out, but editing takes so long and I can't be bothered. Um, yeah, it was like 1958 to 1962 and basically the doctors gave women who had morning sickness these tablets. They tested them and loads of different tests and it appeared as if they couldn't overdose on this pill and so they thought it's safe. What they didn't test it on was pregnant women and that's who they gave it to and so when the women took it what they didn't realize is that they were going to give birth to children with so many defects and like deformities limbless both in the arms legs one or the other and these children would then have to live and lots of things had to be invented for these children's needs um, like uh, prosthetic arms, prosthetic legs, and they show them, and it's 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 quite horrific and, and and very very emotive in the fact that they show these tiny versions of you know things that you know just it's just abnormal the fact that a pill caused this and it kind of shows the real effects upon you know doctor says take and you take it you don't really question about what's going to happen to my body um, and what it's going to do in the future um, so yeah I mean in that it's, it, it is very emotive and they had videos and photographs of these children um, walking well you know walking around but with no legs and eating with their feet and there was this particular one where this kid was learning how to write and he kept cutting his toe when he picked up a pencil and oh god that in itself like this poor boy um but equally it shows how strong uh, I mean, these children were the fact that they were able to overcome such adversity and i think that was the main kind of overture of the exhibition was that they had overcome adversity and obviously this is running a lot was running alongside the Paralympics and this idea of overcoming adversity to be superhuman. Speaking of superhumans, 
they had a series of mainly Marvel um, comic books. Again, because you know Marvel being the kind of add-on comic book rather than DC being the becoming a superhero uh, through genetics or a gift of some sort. It is, I'm human and I'm going to apply something to myself and change myself to become to become superhuman. And they had like the kind of very graphic style of that. Alongside that, they had the actual people trying to be superhuman like uh, female bodybuilders and male bodybuilders and also the kind of perception of beauty so plastic surgery and this idea of perfection and above human standard of say fitness or you know whatever um, they also had different medical appliance uh, things like the limbs but also like baby incubators um old uh t um kind of old tombs of surgeries and whatnot um yeah so that was quite cool it's a very small exhibition and uh the good thing about it is that it is such a mashup of kind of very new old stuff documentation video art drawings, installations, that there is going to be something that everyone would like. It also has a really good bookstore in there and a really nice like coffee cafe place in there. It's really busy though in the coffee place so you, you have to you have to definitely search the area before you go and sit down. Um, some of my favourite books come from there that I've bought, some of my favourite art books. They also have, have like a fiction um, section and everything and it's all to do with kind of like this kind of crazy art medical science mashup it's, it's beautiful like that's like my section of my interest in art um but yeah it's always got this really kind of morbid it's got a morbid fascination but also very high moral emotive structure to it which is quite cool so i always recommend going uh, you'll only need like an afternoon it's not like an everyday uh, an all day thing unless you haven't been there before it's across the road from Euston station or if you were to get out at Euston square then it's just down the road like you have to go back on yourself and down the road um, but yeah if you go on upstairs then maybe a bit longer than an afternoon uh, yeah so it's really good people should go there because it's amazing and also look at the Welcome Trust and uh, see the many other marvellous galleries that they support such as the Hunterian Museum which is again kind of this morbid fascination art science mix and also investigate them. So I am the finished, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching, bye!